Reward on the road.
sights. for a little shot. What? <laughs> 
things up a little.
What's the hurry?
such a brute. Hey, come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Ha! Freeze! for a little shock. Naughty boy. 
surrender and I'll be gentle. for a little shot.
will come in handy. I knew 
I should have stayed home. Suspicious. We're close. Hurry, the treasure. Hmm. Let's do this. My nerves.
Dodge this! Don't push your luck!
The duty of a Tengu warrior is to watch over the mountains and forests. All that The Kujo clan is to guard Inazuma. These two are of the same ilk. I'll save you the trouble. How about you let me take over? <sighs> well, I did have dealings with them. But them and their stupid principles. Losers who can't make a fortune. I'm Izzard. I thank you both on behalf of the treasure hoarders. Ah. Uh. We've been keeping a low profile. How did word get out? Hmm. Paimon won't let you have the treasure without a fight. You would be wise not to underestimate us. My gang is just outside waiting for my order. However, they're not as uh, sociable as me. I'm sorry to rain on your parade, but your gang won't be participating in your current plan. If you'd like to ask why, you can go see them. In Mondstadt Prison. Or perhaps you'd prefer to join them permanently. The Knights. Hey, it's Kaya! Kaya, he wants to see your treasure! Get him! Ugh, oh, almost had it. Oh, you mean the treasure? Sorry, but there wasn't any treasure to begin with. You came all the way for nothing. Just give it up. What? No... treasure? Did Kaya just say there isn't any treasure? Ha! <laughs> it got me good. Didn't think the knights would resort to such tactics. A thief has no right to criticize the methods of the knights of Fav... Wait, what are you- You're not gonna get me! Okay, oh god, Whoa. what is this? I didn't mean it! What a troublemaker. You, Knight! You're not gonna watch me die, are ya? Hmm. What an interesting suggestion. Fine. I I'll confess and go quietly. Please, just help me! Alright then. Guess I will have to do some overtime work after all. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're in for a little shock. <sighs> Don't be such a brute. <laughs> Come a little closer. Flash. Dodge this. Embarrassing. Having my life saved by a knight. Don't forget what you promised. Or that thing will be the least of your worries. Hey, is this how the Knights of Favonius treats the people they catch? <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. Let's take him back. Sir! Yes, sir! Uh, Captain, should we take these two in as well? <laughs> of course not. They are the ones who made this arrest possible. Without them spreading our fabricated intel, we wouldn't have been able to catch the treasure hoarders. Stop it already. Though the treasure doesn't exist, you did want it for yourself, didn't you? Otherwise you would have informed me of your intentions, no? That... well... uh... hmm... Let's go! Paimon's done talking to him! <laughs> just a sec. You did help me out, so you do deserve a reward. This? is the triumphant Harbinger of Dawn that points towards victory. As its name suggests, it symbolizes light and victory. If you don't mind, I would like to present you... Harbinger of Dawn? That's right. It suits a well-cultured and disciplined person such as yourself. Well, if the reward is this Harbinger of Dawn... You'd forgive me, right? I'm honored to have such an understanding friend. Yes, yes. You have my apologies for the deception. I will not use the same method twice. What a wonderful day. Now, I have to go interrogate my suspect. Please excuse me. Do come visit me at our headquarters when you have the chance.
So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hurry? I gave you last time. <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh, but we've been gliding. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Avonius have strict rules! You need to pass an exam and only that... 
Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my... An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt. Then I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animo slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! P Great, come find me when you're done. <sighs> the Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed up its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. That's a cool story. Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber.
glory to the Shogun! Spark things up a little. Oh my! Here. Did you have a good read-through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ugh, oh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, it's because maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the... You gotta focus on your technique if you want to try again. Cool. You'll make it this...
You gotta focus on your technique when you're gliding. If you want to try again, just let me know. Cool. You'll make it this time. I just... Surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting. the markers and get to the finish without stopping in the middle. You didn't hurt yourself, did you? Once you're ready, let's try again.
Keep a firm grasp on the wind glider and let the wind guide you. of wind gliding now. Let's do the final stage. Easy! You've flown this way before anyway! Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? the wind. Windborne Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. What's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. 
Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. I didn't know you were such a slacker. to someone. Let's let her finish, then go say hi. Which is what has brought us to this point in the first place. If you are unable to promptly deal with the storm terror threat, then leave the defense of Mondstadt to the Fatui. We can put an end to Mondstadt's dragon issues. All we need to do is bring that monster to the... <sighs> monster? Yes. What's your point? Uh... I'd expect a more professional attitude from your diplomats. Yet here you are saying you want to put an end to one of the four winds of Mondstadt? <sighs> I won't have any of this nonsense in front of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> it's not as crazy as you make it sound. Fine, that's enough negotiation for today. At this stage, it's simply an amicable ex- I'll be sure to make thorough notes. Oh, you're back. Thanks for your help. The elemental flow, the aftermath of Storm Terror's last attack is finally settled for the moment. <sighs> However, the pressure from the delegation has become too big to be ignored. Delegation? From Liyue Harbor or in Azuma City? Shneznai, their envoys- Oh, them? Wait. Infamous is- I don't think killing Storm Terror, the Cryo Gods Fatui have always coveted the Animo Gods- I don't believe they have Mondstadt's best interests at heart. What is it? Oh, let us head back to headquarters then. We shouldn't discuss important matters out in the open. Mondstadt and Snechnaya are considered the same in status. Mondstadt is independent and does not belong to... In fact, despite being referred to as a city, Mondstadt is a nation. Though, Snechnaya's Fatui are known to be the most aggressive diplomats in Tivat. Makes sense, given the tone of that woman just now. So rude. It's 
a crystal embedded with some kind of power. Lisa, are you able to analyze it? Let me take a look. Hmm. I can see impurities in the crystal, but upon further inspection... No, I'm sorry. I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Lisa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. So, I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They were incredibly ancient texts, not to mention- Ouch! Gosh, that- the impurities in the crystal- oh, I see. It appears to react to visions. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. It's strange, though. You have elemental abilities as well, but don't seem to be affected in the same way. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. It will just be a pain if left with us, both literally and metaphorically. Fascinating. Do you know anything about what makes you special? I do not know what to make of it either. Well then, the Knights of Favonius have another favor to ask of you. Please accept the title of Honorary Knight and the gratitude of the Acting Grand Master. Honorary Knight of Favonius? We ask for your continued assistance in finding some answers. <sighs> Storm Terror's rage and strange crystals. <sighs> I know Mondstadt's peace hangs in the balance. May the wind open your eyes to the truth. We'll meet back here if you find anything. May the wind guide you. Hello. May the animal please be quiet. didn't tell them. The dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. So you do remember him! That green guy! He looked just like that guy down there! See? See? Wait. Hold on a minute. That... That's the same guy! <gasps> that green guy disappeared! Use Elemental Sight to track him down. Thank you. 
footprints lead to this wall? Did he climb up from here? What's the hurry? 